I'm Hug, this is The Dice, this is attempt number four, possibly five at recording this, and I have recently escaped the work mines of the dread demon Paganok so that I can come back and start making content again. 2017 was kind of a weird interstitial year for me. My fiance moved here to Ireland from Florida in September and I'd spent most of the year just kind of preparing for that, getting the house ready, getting our room ready, that kind of thing. And then when she got here that was fantastic but we had to immediately get to work on the process of getting married. We now have a date which is March 1st and we have one final interview to get through before we've got all of the bureaucratic minutia involved in an Irish person marrying someone from a non-EU country. One more interview to get done to get that bureaucracy out of the way. Then of course, then of course we had Christmas and we were hosting Christmas at our house and it was actually quite nice, it was quite enjoyable and that's coming from me and I hate Christmas. I think Christmas is the worst thing in the world and would totally cancel it if I could. But I enjoyed Christmas this year. And then, pretty much immediately on January 1st, we started rebuilding our bedroom. And I don't mean like we got some, we moved in some new furniture or something. I mean we tore down our old bed, we built a new bed that isn't just a bed, it is also a platform area where my fiance has her desk and we built it from scratch. We just bought a load of timber and we built a bed. <laughs> We also repainted the walls and did a lot of other stuff. You may notice that this is not actually the wall I usually stand in front of, or used to stand in front of. This stuff has all moved from that wall onto this wall. But yeah, this year has been starting much more productively and hopefully that's going to be a sign of how the year is going to be going forwards. This weekend, in fact, I'll be leaving tomorrow to do this, uh, the weekend of the 21st of January. I am going to be going with the theatre troupe Tantalus to Akumakan in Galway, and we're going to be putting on our show Magical Boys, which is magical girls, except boys. Yeah, it'll be the second time we've put on the show, but this time we've tinkered with the script a little bit, we've improved the costumes a tiny bit, and we're going to be filming the whole thing and putting that up on the Tantalus YouTube page for everyone to watch because it's going to be really fun. I'm also going to be doing an interview with the guys at the Mans of Action panel who are always really fun. They did what the Mans of Action do is they read the worst fanfic they can find up on stage, but they also like do voice acting through it, each taking turns, different lines, and putting on different character voices for each line. It's really, really fun. And of course, the other Tantalus members are going to be doing a host of panels over the entire weekend. Later in the year, in April, I'm going to be going to College of Wizardry. I'm probably going to be vlogging at that, and I'm going to be making videos in the lead up to that. Probably in character videos. If you don't know, College of Wizardry is a LARP, a live action roleplay game, which is basically improvised acting with a rule system. College of Wizardry is loosely based on Harry Potter and is about people attending a wizard school. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've been dragged back into the world of LARP by a pair of YouTubers in particular. One of whom has passively been dragging me in just by uploading very, very good LARP related content, and that would be Momo O'Brien. The other one has been actively dragging me back into LARP, grabbing me by my hair and dragging me in, kicking and screaming. That is Cheyenne Rain at LARP House. That is April, I'll be going to College of Wizardry, which will be the month after my wedding on my first. 
It's still so weird talking about my wedding. After the wedding, I'm going to be able to start working on writing the scripts for season two of our horror podcast, The Switchboard. If you haven't listened to season one already, please do that. It's here on YouTube. It's also on iTunes and Stitcher and all the other podcast apps. And please review it. Reviews would be nice. And then we'll be able to start production and get season two out there, which I'm really looking forward to. I've got some great ideas for season two. There's also going to be a revised edition of the Practitioner's Guide to Dublin with, like, some maps and more illustrations of characters and concepts that came up in it. And I know I said I'd get the Compendium Moderna out last year and I've been saying that every year since I started using this channel regularly. But it is now edited. The text is edited. All I have to do is get more pictures for it. So I'm going to be making props to take pictures of to put in the book. The Dublin Geek Mart is starting back up again. March 10th is their next date in Wynn's Hotel in Dublin. I won't be selling at it in March because it's far too soon after my wedding for me to get that organized. But I will be selling at whatever the next date is. It's a quarterly now, um, seasonally, if you will. So I'll be at the summer market. And I'll be at Celticon again in Port Leash. I can't remember the dates for that. I'll put them on the screen some. I'll be selling at that too. Because another thing another thing I did in my absence was A rebuild my entire workshop. And by the way, there is a poll on my Patreon that is open to everyone on whether or not you want a workshop tour. And not only did I rebuild my workshop, I also prototyped a new item I want to start selling. And I might do a few more things along similar lines as well. Hey, I'm going to be doing more Irish folklore videos. There's, in fact, there's another poll up on my Patreon about which one I should do next. Again, this, unfortunately, this one is patrons only because I gotta do something for the patrons. But you'll be seeing a lot more of those and I may be doing a season on just the tawn. A whole series of just the tawn. Planning on doing a series of videos about world building and how to build worlds in literature and stuff not like some sort of Magrathea bullshit where you actually manufacture a planet. That would be cool if, if anyone wants to do a tutorial on that I get get on it. That, that would be awesome. Go ahead. I'm also planning on pitching an event for the Bram Stoker Festival in October. What I want to pitch is a vampire LARP, and not like the ordinary parlor LARPs, which there used to be a lot of in Ireland, I think there's now currently one, but I mean like a full LARP experience. Not quite blockbuster LARP, but close. I want to pitch that and, and see if I can get it done. Cause that would be cool but yes as you can see I am doing way too many things this year and I'm planning to get them all done so let's see how that goes you guys can be my accountability buddies if I don't get this shit done you you guys just shout at me don't shout at me that would be me but you know kind of nudge me gently that, that would be nice I'll shout at you I'd also like to give a special thanks to Neil McConvera and my other patrons that you can see here who have donated just a little bit more, a little bit above the call of duty, which there's no duty to donate. That's a, that's a stupid phrase to use. Never mind. But you know what my, you know what I mean. You get the point. These are the people who give me the money to do the thing to do the thing. If you want your name in there, or if you want to have more influence over how my channel goes and what direction it takes, then please sign up to my Patreon. If, however, you don't have the money or you don't want to give me your money, uh, fair enough, that's, that's totally fine, and you'd like to support me in other ways, then please subscribe, share this video and other videos around, like, leave comments, those are all good things that help with my engagement numbers and make the YouTube algorithm happy with me. And remember that your applause is the only way to counteract my daily chant of I don't believe in fairies.